Hi everybody. In today's video, I'm going to show you how I'm going to build text characters from Blender, export them to Omniverse Create, and blow up a couple of the characters with the Blast extension. And to make it go a little faster, I wrote a Python script for the Blender character creation part. So if you want to stick around, I'll show you why I'm building what I'm building, because I bought a domain called kadapi.com. And the reason I decided to buy this, if I have code and I want to paste it from Visual Studio, go over to GitHub and hit paste. You can see how the formatting is all messed up. I wanted to kind of start here at four characters, and I thought it would make a good demo for one of my open source projects. I'll show you the Python script that I'm going to use. This is github.com slash datajuggler slash python scripts, and I'll put the link in the video description. Most of these are my old iClone 7 scripts, but this one here is exportcharacters.py is for Blender. Let's hit copy to get this on our clipboard, and then we'll go to Blender. Now you can use any version of Blender you like, but I'm using the 3.4 USD Alpha Branch by Omniverse Launcher. And I'll put the link to the Omniverse Launcher if you don't have it, and then just go to Exchange and add the uh, search for Blender. And then you've got it right there. So you can install that if you don't have it. I already have it, so it says launch, but it'll say install if you don't. Okay, and now let's launch this. I'm going to be deleting the default camera, light, and cube. I'm going to the scripting tab, click new, right click, paste, and that will paste what was on our clipboard. I put some instructions here to make this kind of simple. I think I'm off by one line here after some editing, but in line 55, this is the directory you want to export to. And just be careful here because Python uses double backslashes for folder separators here. In line 59, my first attempt at this, I was going to export each character, but it took a little too long. So I decided to leave this here if you want to export individual characters. But what we're going to do is set right cares to false because I'm going to go down here a little bit more. And we have the strings to export. And we're going to say write strings is true because it's basically the same thing except for instead of each individual character being its own prop, this is going to be, make the string its own prop. So the first one is cod. This is the name. And these don't have to be the same because like here we have dot com. Dot com is the name with a capital D. So I wanted those to be you know, spelled out go to my temp folder and delete it so there's nothing up my sleeve and now we'll run it and it creates the text you told it to create as well as it exports it and it applies a triangulate to it which basically just makes it export a little better and it converts it to mesh next thing we're going to do is go to omniverse create so we'll come back over here to the omniverse launcher and we'll launch create I'm going to pause the video while this loads and be right back. Create is loaded. The first thing I'm going to do is hit L to get rid of the light. And then G to get rid of the grid. I'm going to kind of rotate this a little to the right. And I don't like this plane here. I'm going to say create physics, physics scene, and create physics ground plane. I'm going to go to materials and just put this aluminum anodized black just to make it look a little better. And then the next thing I want to do is I'm going to delete the sky and the distant light. And I'm temporarily going to put a sky on it just so we can see a little better. And now we're going to bring in our content. I'm going to go to my temp folder, C temp. I'm going to bring these all in at once. Try to get about to the center. And I'm going to select all five by holding the shift key down. And I want them all to be on zero for the Z axis and 40 for the, the height of the Y. And then now we're going to do a little bit of arranging. We go to tools, pivot. We need to do a pick source, pick the ground plane, and then add pivot to center that. And then now we're going to get the E and do the same thing. Scoot it over. Looks about right. Pivot. Next C. 
add the pivot, and then now the uh, OPY, let me get this out of our way. I think that's about right. And then the dot com. I will need to add the pivot for the OPY and then the dot com. I'll scoot it over. Looks about right. And add pivot. Okay, so now we have this. We're going to scoot that over just a little more. It's probably fine. All right. Now the next thing I want to do is put a material on everything, but before I do anything, I need to take the E and the C, oops, not all this, just hold the control key down, do the E and the C, and now hit control D to make a copy of that, and the reason we want that is I'm going to use the particle sampler. When we blow it up, the E and the C are going to kind of blow up, but I'm going to use the particle sampler to show up at a certain time by making it visible right around the same time it blows up just to give us a little bit more of an effect. So now we're going to put a material on everything. I'm going to go to V materials and metal mesh and the one I'm going to be using is woven metal 02 gold woven glossy. That's a lot to say. Okay. Let me put this on everything. I'll do these, but it won't really matter because they're same material, but you have to reset it again when we turn it into a particle system, particle sampler. But so first thing we want to do now is let's get to the blowing up because I'm sure that's what everybody wants to see if you put up with eight minutes this far. So we've got the, we'll go to the E, not this one, the first E, and we're going to say add physics colliders preset, and we're going to do the same thing to the C, add physics colliders preset, and then now I'll start with the E. We're going to select the text part of the E, so it needs to be all the way down at the mess level. And we need to enable the blast extension, because you can't blow up with the blast extension without the blast extension. All right, so now that blast extension has been enabled, I'll just show you a few changes I've made here. You can play around with whatever works best for you. I changed this to 512 earlier, and I was Omniverse Create remembers my setting, and I lowered this to about 400, which I think lowers the, the, the impact it takes to make something blow up. And then now we're just going to click Fracture Selected. Okay, and now we're going to go to the C and select the text all the way at the bottom, do the same thing. and fracture selected. Okay, and now if you want to see a preview of the uh, blowing up, you can go down here to debug visualization and change this to some number just to see that it is indeed blowing up, but we're going to put that back to zero. It's just trying to show you. And now to blow it up, let's create an object to blow up with. We're going to say create mesh sphere I'm going to move the sphere over a little bit and make it about 1.6 on all the uh, dimensions. And we're going to move it up to 12,000. But we'll go to it. We need to say add physics rigid body with colliders preset. And then now we're going to just hide it because we want to blow it up with it not visible. And then next, I'm gonna, I usually just select looks whenever I run this just so there's nothing selected because otherwise you get some kind of weird handles. And we'll let that run and see if it blows it up. So that did a pretty good job of blowing up. We're going to go to our sphere again that we just created. Add physics mass, and we're going to scroll down here, and that adds a little panel here for mass. 
And we're going to change the mass from auto computed. We're going to set it to about, oh, we'll try uh, 1500. Just see what that does. And I'll run that again. Okay, <clears throat> you can play around with what works best for you. So now what we want to do is we want to have the E and the C turn into a particle sampler so we get a little bit more pieces that are visible. So to do that, select our copies of E. So let me minimize, I get confused with too many things. Okay, now if our first E is E underscore zero one. Select all the way down to the text level. Add physics particle sampler. We're gonna go down and set the, in the particle set, we want to change the material to that gold, metal to gold glossy right there. So that way it'll be the same material on the inside. And we're going to do the same thing to the C. So select the C01 all the way down at the text level. Add physics particle sampler. Okay, now we don't want it to blow up from about there we want to move our E01 and C01 so I'm going to hold the control key down to well let's minimize those so it's make sure it's the whole object I don't and I'm gonna back out okay I'm trying to move those both at once I don't like it so we'll move them one at a time for some reason they're wait we're having trouble Okay, doesn't really matter. Now we're gonna do the same thing with the C01. Grab, I guess I have to grab the text for some reason. I don't know if it's because of caches on and create, but basically it's here and we're gonna make that, uh, we're gonna now go to the layout tab. Layout animation is what I meant to say. And first thing I'm gonna do is change our frames per second to 60. And I'm going to set our total frames at about 1,200. We don't need that many. And I'm going to scoot this over. And I want to take the E01 and make it invisible. And then we're going to say set key. And we don't want that to show up until about frame 360, I think, is our uh, where the... Uh, sphere is going to blow the other pieces up so and we'll change that back to inherited and then say set right click and set key again so that way at 360 the particle pieces become enabled and I'm going to do the same thing to the C01 on frame 0 make that invisible so find visibility Invisible, set key, and go to frame 360. Change it back to inherited, which will make it visible. Set key. Oh, there. Set key. So now we'll go back to frame zero. And if we run this, that should be hidden when we run it. Let's uh, actually see. It didn't. Let's go back to frame zero. Maybe I, need, maybe I need to go to the particle set and do that. Visibility invisible, set key, go to 360, make that inherited, and set key. So now back on frame zero, that there, okay, apparently I got to do the particle set. Go to looks. So now if we run this, when the E and the C blow up. Okay. And I believe, and just to, I believe that got extra. I can't really tell. I probably should have uh, paid attention to what it looks like without the particle set. Okay. And the only other thing we're going to do, you know, you could always add more of those particle samplers to. Let me make sure it's actually showing up. Particle set. Frame 360. Mm. 
where is visible yeah it's back to inherited so it, it should be working I, it's kind of hard to tell but I think it's working so now the only thing left to do is animate our uh, objects coming back together so we'll go back to frame zero so what we're going to do next oh and we want the dot com to not be visible until frame 600 so we'll select our dot com up here let me just minimize a couple of things on frame zero we want the visibility to be invisible set key and then on frame 600 we're going to change that to inherited and set key and then the last thing is the COD we want that X to be where it's at on frame 0 so we'll set key and on frame 600 we want it to be basically there set key so now if I can get a drum roll and I'm gonna try this with let me kind of zoom in a little bit to get a better camera angle for this for our final render can't go too far the dot com won't show up but okay and I'm gonna try it with the uh, sky not visible okay I need a light thought I'd added a rectangle light but that must have been the previous take so we're gonna say create light rectangle light I'm gonna change the rotation to 270 make it flat and I'm gonna make it really big light so like 2000 and 2000 and we're gonna raise the light up on the y-axis to about oh six thousand now if I turn our sky off okay now I need to make our light a little brighter our rectangle light needs to be I don't know why it's not visible maybe I need to make that now one thing I want to do is change the specular multiplier to zero just to get rid of that and then move our light over this way a little and I'm gonna hit the E key to bring up the rotate and kind of rotate it that way just a little so the light is shining on our letters a little more and now we're gonna make the sky invisible that's a little better that's what I was kind of going for see if I can line up our camera angle get the reflection a little better all right and let's see what this looks like if I can get a drum roll please Oops, we got a problem, and I'll tell you what the problem is. We're going to go to our COD, which is right there. We're going to go to frame 360. Actually, we'll go to 420. And we're going to put that, but we go back to zero. Sorry, let me copy this. And I'm going to go to 420 and paste that same value in again and click set key so that it stays at the same until frame 420 and then starts moving over so now if we run this now I'll get our drum roll again although it, the, the drummer's like I'm not doing that again you blew it last time but okay so now this is codecopy.com and boom we blow up our boom everything kind of scoots over and there this is in paint.net it's sometimes useful you just come over here and type test and uh, select up here and this will give you you know a look at the fonts before and then just go to your Windows folder and find the path to that font and paste it into the Python script back in this step way over here thanks for watching and let me know what you think alright have a great day